As a militant, articulate, and uncompromising opponent of the Federation, Nkumbula was elected President of the Northern Rhodesian African Congress in 1951. The party was soon renamed the African National Congress, ANC. In 1953, Kenneth Kaunda became Secretary General of the ANC. When Kumbula called a national strike, disguised as a national day of prayer, in opposition to the Federation, the African population did not respond. This was due to the opposition of the president of the African Mine Workers Union, Lawrence Katilungu, who campaigned against the strike on the Copper Belt. In October 1953, the white colonial settlers formed the Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland, ignoring the black African majority's opposition. In the early months of 1954, Nkumbula and Kaunda organized a partially successful boycott of European-owned butcheries in Lusaka. However, Nkumbula and Kaunda and the ANC found it difficult to mobilize their people against the Federation. In early 1955, Nkumbula and Kaunda were imprisoned together for two months with hard labor for distributing subversive literature. Such imprisonment and other forms of harassment were normal rites of passage for African nationalist leaders. The experience of imprisonment had a moderating influence on Kumbula, but it had a radicalizing influence on Kaunda. Kumbula became increasingly influenced by white liberals and was seen as willing to compromise on the fundamental issue of majority rule. Opposition to Nkumbula's allegedly autocratic leadership of the ANC eventually resulted in a split with Kaunda, who went on to form the Zambia African National Congress, ZANC, in October 1958.